I thank you for joining me. I'm going to be reading the Earth Class Notes, written by the Twelfth Apostle, entitled Understanding. As you know, I have used this very important word many times in my Earth Classes. As you believe to see the use of this foundational beginning, under, that refers to the ultimate love for all that our great one and only God has, to allow sinful religious men to crucify his only begotten beloved son, Jesus, as a substitutional sinless sacrifice for all souls, perfectly proven in the three deaths of Jesus, spiritually, soulishly, and mortally, with his body being buried in a special new white stone tomb that the uncle of Jesus, Joseph of Arimathea, had purchased. Jesus had traveled with his uncle to other nations of the world within Joseph's prosperous shipping industry, and Jesus had remained in other nations and lands, teaching the people there about his Father, God, and his love for them. This was from the time Jesus was 12 until he was 40, at which time he came back to Israel with his aged uncle. Joseph of Arimathea had purchased a new white stone tomb to be carved out of the base of a very large stone hill that was called the Hill of the Skull. As Joseph knew, it's very interesting history. Young David, many years before, had placed the head of the giant, Goliath, whom he had killed, upon a pole at the top of the hill that was also called Golgotha, where criminals were crucified by the ruling Roman government there. Jesus was crucified three years later by the Romans because of the demands of the evil religious Jewish leaders who hated Jesus for teaching that he was the only begotten son of the living God. Jesus was crucified between two convicted criminals, and it is written, and one of the criminals, which were hanged, railed on him, saying, If thou be Christ, save thyself and us. But the other, on the right side of Jesus, answering, rebuked him, saying, Dost thou not fear God, seeing thou art in the same condemnation? And we instead justly, for we receive the due reward of our deeds. But this man hath done nothing amiss. And he said unto Jesus, Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. And Jesus said unto him, Verily I say unto thee, Today thou shalt be with me in paradise. I have taught this great truth many times for any responsible soul to have perfect understanding of. And Jesus paid for all the consequences of all sins of all souls once. For all, forever. May he that hath understanding May he believe to see. Until next time.